Hey everybody, well it's time to move on to the next big piece. Uh, and that's the fuel tank. So you can see here, this is the skin for that round nose front part of the uh, fuel tank. It attaches to the wing here. You can see this forward area where there is a missing part is uh, the fuel tank for the aircraft. Here in front of me uh, are the majority of the parts that I've laid out, uh, except for some minor things, some connectors and obviously rivets and whatnot I didn't throw down here. But this is the bulk of everything that goes into it, uh, minus the uh, Pro Seal goop, which uh, you know how much fun I have with that stuff. That, that's gonna be a big part of this too, once I get, uh, once I get all these pieces assembled. This is a part that has me concerned. Um, it's kind of important. I mean, all of it is important, but this one is uh, almost doubly so, as it is a, this is a wet fuel tank. You know, the, there's no bladder or anything. The, the fuel just sloshes around inside of here. And so um, I want to make sure I get it right. I'm going to do everything I can to share everything that I'm doing with this particular piece because this one is in depth. And I know that it is, other people have mentioned to me that this is one of their concerns is doing fuel tanks. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to learn and teach at the same time and we can uh, figure this out. <clears throat> I do know that you can get uh, vans to build these fuel tanks. And I believe someone said you could ship them all this stuff and they would return a fully functioning fuel tank. Um, I'm not going to do that. I do know a couple different airplanes, a couple different RV-10s that were both quick builds that both had the fuel tanks done and they actually ended up both having the exact same rivet on both sides on both planes leak. So uh, that'll be interesting once we get to the pro seal point. We got to make sure you don't have leaks. There's nothing more important than that. You do not want a fuel leak. So anyways, here's all the parts. Can't wait to get started. Here we go. So one of the very first steps that it has you do is straighten all of the ribs that go inside the fuel tank. You're going to do this a lot throughout the course of making this plane, but a lot, I've talked about this before, but a lot of people are asking what exactly does that mean? Um, if you look, you'll notice when I lay it flat on the table, I can kind of push on either side of it and it will kind of rock back and forth. And that's because there's an ever so slight curve in the part that's just caused by the stamping. And uh, uh, just, I'm sure there's just no good way to not do that when you create the part. And the best way to tell is if you look right down it, you can see there's this curve, right? And they give, uh, they give you a great tool for solving this. I say they give it to you, you gotta buy it. But it's a fluting tool. It's a pair of pliers that, um, it's locking pliers that someone has welded these channels onto and it makes your life really easy for fixing this problem. So how we solve this problem is by using these pliers and squeezing in between these rivet holes in order to bring this, this end in and make sure that this is straight. So again, when we lay it here, it doesn't do this number. And it's just a simple matter of picking a point and giving an ever so slight squeeze. Just adding a little bit of a flute. If you do that across the entire thing, the whole thing will end up being straight. I'll do that now. Sorry that so much of this happened out of frame. Uh, the camera was zoomed in slightly farther than I had intended. Whoops. There you go, you saw me do the work. Um, I used the fluting pliers and applied a number of flutes on both sides of this particular rib with the intent of bringing it in line so that all of the rivet holes line up with the appropriate rivet holes in the skin. Um, you'll notice that, you do this enough, you notice that the deeper the curve, you know, the deeper the curve, the more flutes will have to happen on that side, just as a nature of the fabrication process, the, the sharper the curve, the more the bend. Uh, and the other thing you'll notice is um, the, doing several shallow flutes is actually more effective than individual deep flutes. So, um, you know, you can see here I did a bunch of them on this side and a bunch of them on this side. And in the end, it's pretty straight, you know, pretty straight. And you can, by placing it on the table, you can see that it doesn't rock back and forth like it did. 
Uh, one thing you will see is don't try to fix from about here forward on the end where they, they intentionally shape this down and we'll talk about shaping this later. So that's it, that's the important of uh, fluting. It is something you're gonna do a lot. You're gonna do it to all the ribs. It is something you need to do, don't skip it. Uh, and um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I'm more than happy to discuss this stuff. And if you think I did something wrong, please tell me I need to know that too. Thanks guys.